गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर ब्रेन टीजर ऑफ यूनिट एट सो हे इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वी हैव टू टेक द करेक्ट आंसर इन ए पार्ट थ्री आवर्स थर्टी थ्री मिनट इज इक्वल टू डैश मिनट सो वी ऑल नो वी ऑल नो दैट वन आवर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मिनट सो सिक्सटी मल्टीप्लाई थ्री गिवज यू वन एटी नो वन एटी मिनट्स प्लस थर्टी थ्री मिनट्स गिवज यू टू वन थ्री सो आंसर इज टू हंड्रेड थर्टीन मिनट्स सो ऑप्शन दिस ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज राइट नो लेट्स डू टूडे इज मंडे आफ्टर सिक्सटी वन डेज सो देर इज अ गैप ऑफ सिक्सटी वन डेज सो वट इट विल बी डैश सो वट वी डू वी विल डिवाइड सिक्सटी वन बाय सेवन सो सिक्सटी वन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन एंड द रिमाइंडर इज फाइव वेन वी डिवाइडेड वी गॉट द रिमाइंडर फाइव When we divide sixty-one by seven, we got the remainder five. Now we will add five days after Monday. So we will add five days after Monday. So after five days of Monday, we got Saturday. So the answer is Saturday. Now which of the following months has thirty days? So answer is April, as these have the thirty-one days. So answer is April. Now. A train leaves Delhi at 12:05 p.m. At what time will it reach Agra if the journey takes 3 hours 42 minutes? So we will add, and we got 15 hours 42, 47 minute. But according to 24 hour clock, this time is equal to 3 hour 47 minutes. So the option three is right. So this option is right. Now let's do E part here. The number of days in two non-leap years. So there are two non-leap years. So one non-leap year has three hundred sixty-five days plus another three hundred sixty-five days in second one. So by adding, we got seven three zero seven hundred thirty. So correct answer is option number four. That is seven hundred thirty. Now. These are also the solution. Three hours thirty-three minutes, two hundred thirteen minutes, and the second answer of B part is Saturday, C April three forty-seven, and E part seven thirty. Now let's move to next question here. Is the year in which India become republic a leap year? So, what should we do? First of all, we must know in which year India become republic. So the answer is nineteen fifty. So we divide this by four, and if it is divisible by four, we got we can say that India go become republic in 1915, which is a leap year. Now in question number three, if fourth of the February is Sunday, what is the 25th? Now look, 25 minus four. This is the gap of 21 days. Now by dividing, we got the remainder zero. So Answer will be the Sunday. Remember that we have these are the fourth of February and twenty fifth of the February, and the difference is twenty one. So by dividing it by seven, we got the remainder zero. So we will add zero days to Sunday. The answer is Sunday. So India become republic in nineteen fifty, and we divide it by four, and we saw that remainder is not zero. So nineteen fifty is not a leap year. Here the answer is Sunday because twenty five minus four is equal to twenty one, and when we divide this twenty one by seven, seven three is a twenty one, and answer is zero. So remainder is zero. So we will if so answer is zero. That's why the answer is Sunday. I hope you understand this. Now let's move to question number four. Here these are the fillips. So fill in the blanks. A leap year has how many days? A leap year has three hundred sixty-six days. Again, there are dash seconds in one hour. Now remember this question carefully because we are going to use in our next questions also. So there are dash seconds in one hour. So we know one hour is equal to sixty minutes. 
okay and we also know that one minute one minute is equal to 60 seconds one minute is equal to 60 second so what we do we just multiply 60 by 60 and we got our answer so the answer is 60 multiply 60 answer is 3600 so this is the answer of the question now the shortest month of the year i hope all of you know this answer the shortest month of the year is february yes it is right it is the february the shortest month of the year is february now 5 hours is equal to dash minutes so 5 hours means 5 multiply 60 the answer is 300 so the answer 300 minutes now 3 hours 35 minutes is equal to dash minutes so 3 hours means is 3 multiply 60 the answer is 180 now 180 plus 35 the answer is 215 so this is 215 minutes in e part now one century is equal to how many years this is direct question so one century is equal to 100 years 180 minutes is equal to dash r so we will divide this 180 by 60 so we will divide 180 divided by 60 the answer is 3 now 3 hours after 5 pm 3 hours after 5 pm 3 hours after 5 pm is 8 pm now 2 hours before 9 am that is direct 7 am 2 hours 20 minutes after 3 30 am so that is equal to 5 50 5 50 am Now 4 hours 5 minutes before 10.40 so answer is 6.35 am so I hope you we now just understand this whenever there is after we do addition and when there is before we do subtraction that these are the keywords for doing these questions so I hope you understand question number 4 let's move these are the answers just have a look <coughs> sorry now let's move to question number five which is in a part this is find the sum so you have to do the additions of hours time so a part three hours 15 minutes plus five hours 20 minutes so answer is three eight hours 35 minutes b part 6 hours 47 minutes plus 45 minutes now look there is no r so we will not don't write we don't write anything here so by adding we got 6 hours 92 minutes so as you know when their minutes are more than 60 we just do subtract 60 from it and add 1 hour to this so 6 will become 7 and 92 will become 32 so answer is 7, 7 hours 32 minutes B question number six they will find the difference between so means here you have to do minus so a part six hours 40 minute minus five hour five minute the answer is one hour 35 minute in b part the question three hours 47 minute minus 55 minutes so there again there is no hours so we don't write anything here so, so now look 47 is less than 55 so we just took 2 from hours and add 60 to 47 so 47 plus 60 gives you 107 so we will write 107 here now subtract these two we got 2 hours 52 minutes now let's move to question number 7 and 8 here what time was it 3600 seconds before 12 midnights and 
and 3600 seconds after 11 am now remember that 3600 seconds i told you this means 1 hour so 3600 seconds means 1 hour so the question will become now what time was it 1 hour before 12 midnight and 1 hour after 11 so i hope now you can do it so this is the solution 3600 seconds means 1 hour which we got 60 multiply 60 you can also write this also in front of 1 hour now 1 hour before 12 midnight is 11 pm now question number 8 again 3600 3600 seconds is equal to 1 hour and it will go because of 60 multiply 60 now 1 hour after 11 am is 12 noon the answer is 12 noon now question number 9 a tv was switched on at 7 30 pm and switched off at 11 45 pm how long did it run and question number 10 is Renus, Renu studied for 1 hour 25 minutes and if she stopped studying at 8 30 pm when did she start studying let's saw the solutions here in question number 9 switched on and switched off means we have the ending time and starting time so we have to find the duration so ending time is 11 45 pm starting time is 7 30 pm so duration is 4 hour 15 minutes in question number 10 there is there is no studied for 1 hour 25 minutes that is the duration that now and if she stops studying at 8.30 pm, so this is the ending time, duration, we have to find the starting time. We do the subtraction and we got Renu start studying at 7.05 pm. Now, let's move to last question. We will find the name of the famous personalities whose date of birth is 29 Feb. So, I will tell you two, only two personalities and you have to tell me some others in the comment section. The two personalities of two famous personalities of India are Morarji Desai, Morarji Desai, and another one is Shakuntala Devi. Morarji Desai was our former Prime Minister, and Shakuntala Devi is the Bharatanatyam dancer. I hope you understand this. Thank you.